So a student had a question about this, and I think others may have uh, similar questions, so I'm going to keep this generic. But uh, we, have, uh, we have this feature in here, and some people are going to get ripped up in this uh, back base feature. So I'm saying the origin centered on the bottom edge, so it's going to be down here, right in the middle of that, and we're going to extrude that forward. But you've got to read this, too. It says, apply the 2-inch sketch fillet last. So this 2-inch fillet over here, uh, showed in this side, but you know it's symmetrical. It's going to be an outside tooth that's got to be put in last. So when you put in this one and a quarter inch dimension, you have something to dimension to. And if you look at this, it's not going to be dimensioning to that point. Obviously, it's not to that point in that straight edge. It's not going to be in this point on that straight edge. It's going to be in the middle. It's called a virtual sharp. And I mentioned this in one of my videos uh, in regard to using sketch picture. But it's going to be the intersection of this line and that line. So how do you get that point once you put that, uh, that fillet radius in there? Now what you do is you put the fillet radius in last. You put this dimension in first, then you put your fillet radius in there last. There's other ways of doing this too, so let me show you how to do this. So this dimension in here is a dimension into the bottom, so that's not right. You're going to get, uh, get an error here. So there's a couple things to do. One uh, way of doing it is just to take that, uh, that radius, uh, that fillet radius, and delete it. And to say yes, we're going to delete both sides. And we're going to take this point here. This point over here, we're going to rejoin it. So we're going to make that, uh, we're going to merge that. So now we have that uh, dimension in place. You want to make sure uh, we have a tangent relationship here, up here. Symmetric over here, so uh, everything should be okay. So now we're going to put in that uh, fillet radius, and that fillet radius is going to be 2 inches. Type in 2 over here. Click on this point over here. Puts that in. Put it on that point over there to make it symmetrical. Right click, and now we have that. So you can see it in the middle there. And now I believe if we go ahead and extrude this, go to the green chalk mark, and extrude it, not extrude it, but rebuild it because it's already a feature in there. If you go to the mass properties in this, go to evaluate mass properties, let's take a look at it. And it looks like, uh, in fact, I'm going to get my sketch, uh, you know, my snap, uh, snap, snipping tool out just so I can look at that. And I'm going to put that to the side over here. Let's go back to the drawing, the original drawing that we're using over here. Make sure we have that base feature in here. And so it says over here, uh, we're looking at uh, 0.6606, which we have, and then the center mass is going to be zero, so we have zero. Y is 1.5622, which it does over here, and then uh, an eighth of an inch, so we have that correct. So let me show you a different way of doing this. If you don't want to erase that fillet, don't feel confident about that. Let's do Control z a couple times to get that thing back to where we had it before. So right-click in that sketch. If you want to get that uh, virtual sharp, another way of doing it is to delete that dimension, because we don't need that. And now we're going to put in a point. So the way we do this, we're going to take this line with the control key, that line with the control key, and go to point. And there comes that cross that you saw when we got that virtual sharp in there. So now we're going to put in that dimension. Escape a couple times, let's put in that dimension between this virtual sharp, which selects like a point in a way. And then that line in here, we're going to make that 1.25. So that should be it. That should be correct if everything else is in here. That is everything else in here is correct. So let's go ahead and rebuild that and see if we get the same mass properties again. And we get 606 and 15622. Yeah, it looks like we have the same thing in here, which is what we should be getting. So two different ways of doing that. But the premise here is to make sure that when you put in the sketch, you put in that fillet last. If you didn't put that fillet in last. The fillet radius in last, and you got this uh, dimension wrong either to, the, either to that point or to this point, then you have to put in that virtual sharp to do that, or you have to go ahead and take out the fillet and redo that. So that's how you do it.